Welcome to the words of the day for September 18th, day five, first Friday of our new school year. You ready for the random word of the day? Okay, here we go. Physical chemistry, physical chemistry, huh? The branch of chemistry dealing with the relations between physical properties of substances and their chemical composition and transformations. Huh. That sounds like something you'd learn in college. Cool. Okay, here we go. Words of the day. First, wait, I was going to say fourth grade. First word of the day is key. It's a noun. It comes from Old English. And yes, I mean like like a key, right? But we're gonna talk about it in a different way because it's not a key that, uh, well, you know what, I guess it is. Because the definition is a thing that provides a means of gaining access to or understanding something. So a key is actually something that we use to access something, right? You unlock your door with a key. But the way I'm gonna use it in a sentence has to do with understanding something. So. Um, I would say the key to um, getting good at something is practice, okay? So it doesn't actually unlock anything. Well, I guess it kind of unlocks skill. I don't know. But key, we use key in a couple different ways. So here's the next word, serenity. I like this word, it just sounds good, serenity. Now, serenity is a noun, it comes from Latin, and it means not having mental stress or anxiety. It's another way to say like really calm or just you're not scared or anything. Um, so I feel a sense of serenity when I read before bed. Okay. The next word is identify and it's a verb. It comes from Latin and it means to recognize or distinguish. Uh, you've heard this word a lot, identify. Um, and I'm going to use it in a sentence. Let's see. Please identify two types of math you want to work on today. All right, there we go. Those are the words of the day. Are you ready for the spelling words? I know I am. Here we go. Fourth graders, your first spelling word is orphan. Okay, orphan. Second spelling word, fountain. Okay, like a, a fountain in the park. And the Third spelling word is oxen. Yes, oxen, it's a type of animal. Okay, fifth graders, you ready? First word is compliant. Compliant, this is kind of a hard one, okay? It means to uh, um, follow instructions. Um, the second word is extravagant. This is a really good word, though it's kind of hard to spell, and you're gonna see because of all the A's it has. You, your mind's gonna wanna put an E in there somewhere. Okay, and the fifth word is ignorant, okay, which just means you don't know things. Um, so, fifth grade words, there you go. Uh, sixth graders, your, well, I have to scoot over because it's hidden behind my camera. Uh, your first word is depth, okay, depth. Uh, second word is discussion. We, we have that, we have a lot of those. And your third word and the last spelling word of the week is echoes, okay. So, write them down, put them in sentences, post them in chat, send me an email, make a book. Um, I'm sure you can think of some other stuff to do with them. All right, thank you.